What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to texture a curved road within SketchUp. Before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials 50K subscriber sale. So as some of you know, I hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. As a celebration, I'm running a promotion on my course. So between now and Friday, if you purchase the SketchUp Essentials course, I'll also be doing model reviews, meaning that you can upload a model and then I'll take a look at it, I'll go through it, and I'll give you a report of things that you can um, basically do to make your SketchUp modeling even better. So things that can speed up your models, um, things that are going to make your modeling practices work, be work better, that kind of thing. So if you're looking to uh, really get some start to finish training in SketchUp, as well as get some help with your models, make sure you check out that link at the sketchupessentials.com slash 50k. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the issues when creating roads and streets in SketchUp is as long as you have kind of a straight road, um, so something like this, and you apply a road texture to it. So I need to do a little bit of resizing really quick, but, and also a little bit of texture positioning. But generally speaking, if you have a texture like this one, just like a road texture, It'll work fine as long as you're trying to texture a straight street. So you can see how right here, you can use the position texture tools to generate a texture that's going to run along this road. And it's not really a problem. However, when you come in and you start creating more curved roads, so more complex roads, like this one, that no longer works. So if I was to pick this material right here, you can see how basically what this does is this applies this material, but it doesn't map it along this curve. And that's problematic because you need the stripes and everything else to follow um, basically this face. And so as of the way this is modeled right now, there's not really a whole lot you can do about this. So eventually we're going to use through paint in order to do this. And you can use kind of the uh, UV mapping. But the problem is right now, because of the way this is modeled, this isn't going to map properly. And so this is actually a method I originally saw in the Egypt SketchUp group channel. There's a couple other channels that talk about this method as well, but it seems to be kind of the best way for creating roads with textures. But basically the problem is the way your geometry is in here, it's just kind of a face that's along all of these edges and SketchUp doesn't have any information on how to map this. And so what we want to do is we want to model this face in such a way that we can actually use a UV mapping tool to map this along this face. And so what we need to do is we need to create our geometry a little bit differently. So we need to basically model this with some geometry that you can actually, that SketchUp can actually understand. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use the extension Curve Aloft. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy this off to the side. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase out my edges. And the reason why is because we don't want this in here as a singular face. And so we're going to use the extension Curve Aloft to generate this face instead. And so in order to do that, you're just going to select these two lines and you're going to come over and you're going to select the loft by spline function. And when you do that, you can see how curve loft actually comes in here and this actually splits this face up as quads. So now when it generates this face, I'm going to go ahead and click off to the side here. You can see how with my hidden geometry on, you can see all of these different faces in here. So instead of this being modeled as a single face, it's modeled in here as a bunch of different faces. And I'm going to go ahead and reverse these faces. But you can see how now this is geometry that SketchUp's going to be able to understand when we use the extension through paint. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the extension through paint to apply this material to this object. So in order to do that, we're going to start off and we're going to click on the button for through paint in Fredo tools. And I will link to more information about this extension down below. But we're going to click on this option for through paint. And you're going to get this menu up at the top that's got a series of different options. Well, in this case, what we want to do is we want to sample a material. So you're going to come over and you're going to click on the eyedropper. Then you're going to click on this original road. And uh, if you don't have that in here, then just uh, apply your road texture to a face in here and then sample it that way. But then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to click on this face. And so I'm going to go ahead and click 
right over here on the corner. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna apply this material to this face. And in this case, that actually came in kind of mapped along the edge. I think if I undo that and I click out here on one of the faces, it may come in a little bit different. It still seems to be coming in mapped pretty good. Sometimes what'll happen is this will come in um, more horizontally. So it'll look more like this and then you're gonna have to rotate it. And so once you have this active, once you have through paint active, you should be able to just click anywhere on here in order to click and edit this material. And you'll get a little menu that pops up. And so if this comes in here with these running this way, just click the plus 90 or the minus 90 to rotate that 90 degrees. And then all we need to do is you can see how this texture is now following this face because of the way the quads are mapped in here. So all we need to do now is we just need to do a little bit of fine adjustment. And so we're just gonna come in here, we're just gonna click on a point. It doesn't really matter which point you pick. And then we're just gonna click and drag in order to position this texture along this face. And so if the sizing is off, then you can use this little button right here to uniform scale your texture to make it bigger or smaller. So let's say for example that it comes in and everything's kind of tiled, like your sizing's not right, kind of like this. Well, what you would do is you would get this kind of close on this corner and then you would click and drag this uniform scaling option. You want to use the uniform scaling option because you want to keep everything, uh, everything from uh, distorting so if you scale it along one axis and not the other then you're going to get some distortion but in this case you can see how we came in here and we basically size this now it follows this shape and so you can use this really for anything where you have it mapped out with quads like this which is why you use curvaloft but this is just a quick easy way to come in here and generate road textures that follow along a curve within sketchup so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this useful to you? Have you done anything with UV mapping textures like this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.